soul music. Like, you know, it's, it's music for people, humanity, for just everyday living. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm, I'm 34. I started. I don't know. That's a. <laughs> I don't. Not long enough. <laughs> well, I mean, it's funny. I was just talking about that the other night. My uncle was a saxophone player, and and so that was the impetus for me to play. That's what sparked the whole thing. He played the saxophone. He wasn't a professional or anything like that. He just kind of played the saxophone. And I really was drawn to it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I mean, no one really pushed me. I was one of those inquisitive kind of people who looked at this as, you know, as a spiritual path. And, you know, it, like for me, it, it was it, the meaning of doing this is, is very spiritual. So... It wasn't about, like, you know, getting to this place of just, like, I'm the best or something like that. It was more like this kind of touched my life, music in general, touched my life in a very intense way. And so I, I decided to, I felt it was my calling to do it. I would say, I mean, it, was, it definitely was internal. I mean, there were things that um, inspired me, like... Uh, James Carter, I remember as a young kid seeing him on TV and just being like, you know, just his persona and who he was. And I was like, man, I want to be like that, you know. I mean, but that's, I mean, if I, you know, I was a kid and so as I've grown, I mean, I've had a lot of those moments where it's just like, man, this person really kind of sparked this in me and brought this out. And so... I've been very fortunate to see certain musicians, famous and not so famous, um, you know, be major influences in my development as a musician. I mean, my first major mentor was a trumpet player from New Orleans. Um, when I got to college, he was my man. I mean, he changed my life. I mean, you know, he was one of those guys that kind of helped me kind of see the many possibilities that were that I couldn't see at that time. And also, he, he was the one that got me more into the idea that it's a very internal thing. That you know, this is this is a path that you're dealing with that's very internal, and you and you 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 develop it over time, and you you know it. it you know, it can enrich your life. I mean, he really, really changed my life. And then I had many of those throughout my development. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I could give you a long list of chats that really, you know, not famous, but guys that like decided to do this, make this their life. Well, I think this is an amazing organization. I mean, I, I think, you know, uh, my my fiance works for Doctors Without Borders, <laughs> so I really understand that you know that what you guys are doing and the importance of it. And also, I've seen you know um, you know David Esquire was one of my uh, really you know one of the guys that was like a a force at a certain point. And I was lucky to see him when he died, like when he first like when he had his kidney and he came back and, and I was able to speak with him and talk to him and, uh, and he was really, really helpful and made me feel like it was right to, you know, to choose a spiritual path and, uh, and I know that the foundation helped him out and I think that, you know, to have something like this there, which I don't think there is anything out there like this at all, which was something that I that uh, me and my fiance talked about quite a bit that you know this is the only organization that exists to do this and I think it's a very important work I think you know there's no there's no there's nothing for these men who give men and women who give their lives to creativity and the enrichment of people's lives 